Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello. Hi. I'm Spike. And this and is I'm Fernando. And this is Cook This. We are doing pirate chicken today, which is a recipe of his, using these ingredients. Mm -hmm. Let's tell them about the ingredients first. You didn't say about what is this fish? It's pirate chicken. It's, a, it's spaghetti chicken. Yeah, it's a chicken-based tomato sauce with rum, hence the pirate, mm -hmm. that you then serve with pasta. Imagine the pirate, he was on the ship and he was cooking on the ship, drinking by the bottle. Of course, all pirates does that. Yeah. Oh, why not rum? <laughs> and there we go. Um, and the rum, we're using, we're using this, we're, we haven't really tried this before. This is a spice rum, it's called the Kraken, and it looked kind of piratey, so we thought we would go with that. Um, it is a black spiced rum. And you see the Kraken on the front, the octopus. So um, we're gonna try that in the recipe rather than a standard rum, spicy. Mm. I'm gonna try some in the coffee that I made. We'll see how it tastes. Okay, we're gonna need one. Onion. Wow, that's really good. Two tablespoons of the butter. Oh. In which we can just slice right off with the marks. Okay. Tomato. You normally use like a tomato puree. Yeah, right? tomato puree. This is it's a sauce. We don't have tomato puree, but it's okay anyway. Uh, you make it work. Two. Yeah, there's chicken two breasts. chicken breasts. This came frozen. We thawed it out. Yeah. They're good sized chicken breasts. Uh huh. This is a recipe for two people. Um, Hi, Fred. Garlic. It's better if you use. Uh, cloves, garlic cloves. Yeah, cloves. And we have it already chopped. Yeah. And this is very, this is most important. We had to go to two stores to find decent basil. basil. Fresh basil. And like, then pasta. Pas, pastificio. Yeah, it's Anyway, a, it's a linguine. It, Italian. But you could use spaghetti, you could use fettuccine, anything that's new. And now I'm gonna use my knife. Can you step outside, please? He's been waiting all day to do that. Okay. So we cut off our two tablespoons, tablespoons? Yeah, tablespoons of butter, and we're gonna put it into the pot, which is where we're gonna saute the onions with the basil, right? And the garlic? Yes. So I'm gonna heat up this pot a little bit. We've used a big pot here. We've already got our water near boiling for the, the uh, pasta. The worst part of chopping an onion. onion? It's peeling off. I usually cut it in half and I just grab the edge of my fingernails and peel the whole side off. I don't want to put my fingernails on it. <laughs> butter in the pot. You know I'm kind of buttery. Now, less buttery. Should I put in the pasta? How, wh uh, when should I put in the pasta? Okay. Okay. Finally it happened to me. Okay. By the way, this pot and pan set is pretty awesome. It's very convenient. I got this when I had my RV for camping because all of the pots nest inside of each other and they have a removable handle. Pretty cool. So the handle just clamps on and locks in place. If you can get it, there you go. And then it's all stable. I'll put the, the link to that. I got it on Amazon. Pretty sure I buy everything on Amazon. I'll put the link to that in the the description below. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You need to make sound because you're not gonna use this sound. It helps this me to perform. Okay. okay, our butter is melted. Ready? You're not ready with the onion. No. All right, so we've now got the chopped onions into the pot. It's sauteing in the butter. And we're getting ready to put the garlic in. The garlic. Garlic. I usually use like five, two? Cloves. Cloves. Just this much. 
I don't think that's five. That would be a little more. Yeah. Never be cheap on the garlic. Okay. It's the Garlic's best. awesome. And we're stirring, mm. and we're sauteing. You can do this until the onion gets a little... Kind of golden or golden. transparent. Transparent yeah. and golden. And our water is boiling, so I think we can put in the pasta. Do you want a little oil in the water? No. Or salt? Mm -mm. No, maybe salt. So, you can put a little salt in the water. I usually don't use oil because the, when you use oil, it tends to seal the pasta. It doesn't absorb the sauce. That's interesting. I've always put oil in my pasta water so it doesn't stick together. Yeah, so it doesn't stick with the sauce. Right. <laughs> Our onions are smelling good with the garlic and the butter. Okay, now let's chop this chicken. We're chopping chicken. Chicken, my fly. You can use bigger chicken. No, uh, this is a considerable size. And so we're kind of cubing the chicken? Yep. Sort of half inch cubes of chicken. We love this knife, by the way. We love the knife. We got it at Bymart of all places. It's Farberware, and the holder for the knife that he pulled it out of, like a sword, actually has a sharpener built right into it, which is pretty cool. So every time you take the knife out or put it in, it sharpens the blade a little bit. Uh, this amount of chicken doesn't look much, but it's a sauce, so it's not chicken. <laughs> yeah, we're not making like a chicken dish, we're yeah. making a chicken-based sauce. Yeah. With tomato and other stuff. Whoop. Hi, Maxie. Max is a little deaf, but he enjoys being around. Open this. My dad used to do things with the <laughs> thing like this. <laughs> I need to cook a little bit more. If you think it's too dry, you can put more uh, butter. If you're worried that your pasta is gonna stick each other because you didn't add oil, uh, just stir it. Stir it a little bit uh, once in a while, especially when you just started boiling. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it's not gonna stick, believe me. And we're waiting. Now we can add the chicken and the brum. <gasps> the brum. Um, I don't measure this, but let's try half a cup to see. Yeah, I think half a cup is enough. Half a cup and a splash. The drunk, the drunk pirate is going like, ah. <laughs> so we've added the rum to the chicken mixture and you want to cook it while you're cooking the chicken. You got to bring the heat back up now that we added the rum and mix it and we'll let the chicken cook and you want to <laughs> smell for the... Yeah, I'm smelling the alcohol now. <laughs> <laughs> and once the alcohol smell fades away from the heat, then you'll know that the alcohol is cooked down and is now left with the rum flavor and not the actual alcohol. If that makes sense. Go lay down. Stay. So now I'm gonna add some salt. It's looking good. More rum coffee. It wouldn't be pirate chicken if you didn't get a little bit sloshed. Kind of hungry. Okay, the chicken mixture is now looking ready to add the tomato puree, or in our case, tomato pasta sauce that we're substituting for your puree. How much do you add? Until it gets bread. <laughs> we add tomato puree until the sauce gets red. And a little bit of water, a cup or... And now, you gotta do it with me. 
together. And now a word from our sponsor. Ready? One, two, three. And, and now a, a word, word from, from our sponsor. Oh, from our sponsor. Our sponsor. From, from. not for, from. Okay. 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 And now, no. Count. <laughs> One, two, three. And, and now, now a, a word, word from, from our sponsor. sponsor. Who's that sponsor? We don't have a sponsor. Okay. <laughs> if we had a sponsor, it would go right here. And so if someone wants to sponsor us, like, you know, the Hunts company or the Himalayan salt people, or maybe Kraken Rum. Kraken Rum, brought to you by, imagine, imagine, brought to you by Kraken Rum. Mm. Costco. That's Costco, they don't sponsor anything. Mmm, <laughs> saucy, chickeny goodness. You sure we got enough rum in there? It's the taste test, the official taste test moment. Okay, and Fernando's secret ingredient to pretty much every dish she makes is sugar. If you didn't notice that on our previous segment on the peanut uh, soup that I made, the African peanut soup, he recommended sugar. Which actually sugar works well to complement tomato sauce because it's acid and sugar, but it mellows the flavor. Okay, so note, Use puree instead of the Hunt sauce. Hunt's people, no offense, we like your sauce. It's very affordable. Works great as a base for a pasta marinara kind of a sauce. But maybe not so much for pirate. What are we calling this? I love basil. You're selecting leaves based on what? Mm, nothing. <laughs> Basil leaves go in. To cook a little bit to release the flavor, basil flavor, which is something amazing and special. Yeah, some basils, uh, they are not so um, flavorful. Mm -hmm. So, you gotta smell good, like, mmm. You see, from here I can smell it. So you're looking for flavorful and aromaful, if that's a word, basil. We love this pot strainer, it's so easy. That's, that's ready. That's it. This is pirate, what did we call it? Pirate. <laughs> Something was wrong. Pirate chicken spaghetti. Pirate chicken pasta. Pasta. Like a I Bacardi. used to do this with um, cachaça in Brazil. Cachaça? Is that cachaça. a type of rum? Mmm, delicious. So thanks for watching. This okay. is Cook This uh, with Spike and Fernando. Make sure to subscribe. Follow us on Facebook where we post daily tiny tips of little things to help your life be a little better. Okay, thank you, and don't forget to thumbs up. Bye. Bye. Shall we begin?